Hey. What's up? How's everybody doing today? Um, I'm not doing so well, you know. I'm uh, definitely mourning Carlitos, but um, I mean, this is going to be very hard for me, you know what I mean? And not just for me, for others that, you know, he left behind. Because when you lose a friend, it's like a brother to you, a family, you know what I mean? That is family, you know what I mean? That's not like, you know, you, you know, like all this crap that we see on TV is so stupid because number one, everybody that y'all see on TV is transgender. Okay, I'm just going to tell you guys the truth. We want to look at TV and glorify Beyonce and J-Lo. Those are guys in drag, you know. I'm just going to tell you the truth. I don't care, you know, because that's how me and Carlitos used to speak. We always used to speak about the truth, you know what I mean? And I feel like every time you guys need to realize that every time you turn that TV on, it's pure lies. You're not looking at real women. You're not looking at real men. You guys are looking at actors dressed up as the opposite sex because they have to sign their name in blood in the, in the contract for Satan. Hollywood belongs to Satan. You know what I mean? This world belongs to Satan. So if you want to serve Hollywood and sell your soul to Satan, then you can have a few little millions before you can become a slave to Satan because Satan takes your soul, your mind, everything. You know what I mean? So yeah, me and Carlitos used to talk about that. And from now on, I'm going to speak truth just like this to my brothers and my sisters. Because, you know, I want you guys to realize that everything that you see on the boob tube is pure lies from the pits of hell. So I don't have TV. I don't want to watch all this propaganda on shootings and mass this. It's the own government who does it. Everybody knows that. They're killing us with, you know, chemicals. Water, chemtrails, it's true. Oh, elect. They're not elected, they're selected. It's like a, the Illuminati, you know, the blood family. They're all related, interbreeded. The reptilians that are the, um, the you know, what you call these people, the, 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 the royals, those are all reptilians, interbred, that's why they, you know, and they're transgenders, you're not looking at nobody having babies, nobody can have a baby, they have fucked us up, that's why when you turn the TV on, you're in tuning onto their programming, they want you to think the way they, they want you to think, transgender so cool, my baby thinks they're transgender, that's from the pits of hell of Satan. That's bullshit. So I want you brothers and sisters to know the truth. You know what I mean? Because this is the thing that me and Carlitos would talk about. You know what I mean? And we'd be like, wow, this world is so fucked up. It is. That's why you need Jesus Christ to be your defender and your protector and put the armor of God, the shield of armor of God every day. That's the only way I could do it. You know what I mean? And other mothers that are out here without their children, trust me, they know that their children's in heaven. Trust me. Just like I know my child's in heaven and I know that Carlitos is in heaven. And I know that, like my aunt said last night to me, Luisa, we're all destined to die. That's God's plan. And so, you know, I talked to my girl flip side and she's like you know what it's not about us it's all about God so you know just you know I don't want you guys turning on the TV and saying oh look at Tina Turner's 95 years old and no stretch marks because honey it's a man okay look at my husband he ain't got no stretch marks he ain't got no pooch okay because he didn't birth no babies he's not a woman And you know what? Just think about it, brothers and sisters. When you go to have your sex change, you are getting mutilated. For what? 
to make the income for the doctors because the doctors are going to mind control you and say, oh, look at J-Lo. She got 18 kids and she's a grandma and this and that. J-Lo ain't nothing but a man, honey. Remember that. And I'm saying that for us women and also for our men. Because when you're looking at uh, Brad Pitt, that's a woman, ladies. Y'all lusting after a woman, ladies. Anyways, cheers to Carlitos. I'm going to speak truth from now on. That's that's who I am. That's how I've always been. I've been spitting it here and spitting it there. But from now on, I'm just going to keep spitting it. <coughs> they spit lies. I'll spit truth. They're making money of us hating ourselves. Oh, moms, go to work. Moms, go to work. Go and pay for daycare so they can touch your son's dick. Like what happened to me when I had to be a fucking stripper because the father was no fucking good because he had another fucking wife. He was on the second fucking marriage. And please, please. Make that income, honey, because that government wants to eat you, you know? We're nothing but a social security number to them. We're just cows. We're just cattle. We're just a number. Oh, I'm going to... I die for my job, really? In two weeks, you're replaced, honey. That's simple. Cattle in, cattle out. Cattle in, cattle out. You got to stand with Jesus Christ. And know that you're a soldier for the Lord. Because this is definitely a battle for your soul. Ain't no fucking joke. No two ways about it. No black or white. It is what it is. It's a battle for our soul. You only get one soul. You don't come back here in karma. Bullshit. Really? How come the king didn't get no karma when he was down there asking Lazarus for him to have a drop of water? He didn't come back, did he? He's still there. And president this and this and that, whatever. I'm not, you know, to me, all my riches are in heaven, just like my boy Carlitos. We don't worry because we don't have nothing because all our shit's up in heaven. We don't give a shit. We live for the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. Fuck a house. Fuck that. Like, what the fuck? I ain't taking it. To, what the hell does my boy take? Nothing. I had to cut Carlito's family off. Why? Because it's over. I don't give a shit what happened, how he died, what the circumstances were. He's in heaven. God told me where he is. And now I salute my boy. Because you know what? He's my other angel coming to remind me, bitch. Remember, your boy's up here. I'm up here. We waiting for you up here too. You know what I mean? You just got to do your time. That's what I'm going to do. And until then, Jesus Christ is the savior of my life. And you know what? God, we are made in God's image, in their image. Hello, God's image. Not in Shirley Temples or Mickey Mouse or Roy Rogers <laughs> or Buddha or Allah. None of those. No, none of those. God's image. Hell is a real place, okay? I've been there too. I try to commit suicide also. And the Lord said, you don't love me, Louisa. I said, of course I love you, Lord, which is why I want to commit suicide. He says, if you love me. Well, he didn't say that. He put me in my hell. And my hell was a cell. It was like a, a cell. I guess you could say like in a fucking tunnel, okay? And uh, there was like 
let's say fucking mirrors all over this fucking cell. Inside this cell, I was naked. And I was strapped up to the wall like this, naked. And the Lord was there. And all of a sudden, I felt his presence walk out the door. No more hope. No more nothing. No more reconciliation. Nothing of that of the sort. Nothing. It was being away from my Holy Father God, the one that gave me life, the one that gave me everything. <coughs> I don't know if you were a child. I was. I would cry for my mommy or my grandma, whoever. And I would cry at the door, knocking, please let me in. You know. Well, God always opens that door. Ever since I was little. <laughs> so. My candles, to, you know, the can Carlito's candle, you know, the candle that I burned for all, everybody. It's still burning. It's been burning all night. It's for Carlitos, obviously. And when that candle burns out, Carlitos, guess what? We got another one, bro. Another fucking candle for you, bro. And we're going to keep on fucking lighting candles for you, for Nick, for everyone's loved one, for Lori's, for Kelly's, for any Karen's, anybody that's watching that has a loved one in heaven understands that our loved one lives in heaven and one day we're going to live back in heaven and we know that we know that yes we do in our hearts of hearts we know where our family is and we know that to get there again we have to live for Jesus Christ Abba the one our creator we are made in his image nothing more to say you know what I mean there's nothing more to say except thank you Lord and let me keep reminding my brothers and sisters and myself that every day truly is a gift from you Lord we can't buy insurance in heaven anyways I just um Probably going to come out here a lot and share a lot with you guys. Okay. And, um, because I, you know, you guys, you guys understand, you know. Let's just understand that it's really not about us, it's about God. It's about telling our children, yes, you're going to have trials and tribulations, but be of good faith, for I, the Lord, have already overcame the world. we got to teach them about Jesus. Forget about yoga and meditation. That's bullshit. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Live in my heart forever. Shine your light inside of me. Let me know that in the darkest of the darkest, you're never without me. Like, as long as I breathe, I breathe because the Lord has given me his breath to breathe. Okay? Brothers and sisters, it's true. Without God's breath in our lungs, we don't. But remember, absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Yes or no? Hallelujah, Lord, because you keep your promises. Promise keeper. Promise keeper, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible.
tells me so. Little ones to him belong. We are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. The Bible tells me so. God bless everybody.